I am going to explain you what is MPRT and how that number tells you exactly what is the motion clarity of the display. Especially when they don't lie about it. <laughs> and unfortunately, these monitor companies, they want to slap that one millisecond on the box and they do whatever it takes, even if it's <laughs> lying. So there is a difference between gray to gray, which is the responsiveness of the pixels, and the pixel visibility time, which is this MPRT. If we read the Blur Busters Law, which is the most fascinating article in the entire internet, if you care about gaming and display technologies for gaming, we see that gray to gray is a pixel transition time, and MPRT stands for Moving Picture Response Time. It is the pixel visibility time. So what is the pixel visibility time of this monitor, which is a sample and hold monitor without any motion blur reduction technique? There is no backlight strobing. As a sample and hold display, we can easily calculate here the MPRT. So how, we, how can we get to this number? We have 144 images in one second. We do one divided by 144 and we multiply that by 1000 to get the result in milliseconds. That's how we get 6.94 milliseconds of MPRT and not one, okay? So one millisecond MPRT means as a sample and hold display that that display is 1000 Hertz, <laughs> which doesn't exist yet, okay? Asus just, uh, just uh, announced the 540 a hertz monitor so we don't even have that yet I don't know why they're lying about it this is just absolutely mind-blowing so I'm going to also show you what does this mean like how can you translate these numbers to playing your games like okay let's say in the future I can actually get a sample and hold display that's 1000 Hertz you know how good can that be well I'm going to show you here how good is a 60 Hertz a monitor okay so I have this 4k display right now I have 100% res uh, resolution scaling and I have 100% zoom on the browser so I changed the speed of the UFO test to be 60 pixels per second because I'm recording at 60 FPS and I have 60 Hertz uh, on the display so you can see how fast the UFO test is moving. At this speed, this fast, I can clearly see the UFO test and it looks absolutely perfect, okay? So having one millisecond MPRT means that I can get this, <laughs> I can get this clarity when the picture is moving at 960 pixels per second, okay? And this is given that the gray to gray is good enough. So this is assuming that the gray to gray is far superior. So the responsiveness of the pixels is far superior to the refresh rate. So we can, or at least it's good enough for the refresh rate. So we can get that uh, motion clarity. So we can see the difference between this uh, speed <laughs> and this uh, speed. It's a gigantic difference. So what that is going to mean is that when you're panning the camera on the game, you're going to see everything more clear. And you can actually move faster and still see clear. But on the other hand, you can see how bad it is with 60 uh, Hertz. So with a 60 Hertz display without any motion blur reduction technique, so no black frame insertion on this LG OLEDs, no backlight strobing, uh, this is how, as good as it gets. At 4K, we can only move this fast on the screen. That is very, very, very slow. Very slow. So what happens if we have a 120 Hertz display? We can actually move at double the speed. So we can move at 120 pixels per second. Okay. So we have to move. So we can only move at the same pixels per second as the refresh rate. So then if we have a 240 hertz uh, display, then we can move at 240 pixels per second. 
and the MPRT is 4 milliseconds, okay? That's how it works and that's why that is so important for gaming. So I was looking at uh, the CES news and actually I was very excited with a new uh, TCL announcement. They announced a 240Hz a 4K gigantic display and I was like super excited like you know, 98 inch not because I'm gonna buy it because that's, that's going to be <laughs> stupidly expensive but you know I'm I'm excited about this kind of stuff but then I'm I, I dig uh, more into it and at 240 Hertz is reducing uh, the resolution basically the vertical resolution so yeah we don't have that <laughs> So yeah, I was looking at some news from CES and I'm looking at this, trying to, to research, you know, if we have uh, 240 hertz at 4K, because there's a bandwidth uh, limitation with HDMI 2.1, we can have 144 hertz, uh, but we can use display stream compression, DSC, and get, uh, and get 240 with HDMI 2.1 at 4K. So I was looking at you know at it and seeing you know let's see what what are the monitors what is the state uh, of the art right now when it comes to monitors for gaming because I'm playing on an LG C1 OLED and I see everywhere like every single monitor I see and I go into the the details one millisecond one millisecond man <laughs> I have to do this video to explain you so yeah if you want to know how good is your display how good is the motion clarity of your display let's say you have a crt for example <laughs> if you have a crt you open this ufo test at 60 hertz and you can actually move that at 720 pixels per second and even 960 pixels per second and the ufo test is going to look perfect perfect <laughs> okay that's how one millisecond of mprt looks like at 60 hertz so yeah, let me know if you have any questions um, and yeah, I'm going to end the video here.